Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. The Royal Court announces that His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa will be at the forefront to receive the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defence, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, upon his arrival in Bahrain tomorrow on an official visit. His Royal Highness will hold talks with His Majesty the King on the close and distinguished historical brotherly relations that unite the two brotherly countries and peoples, in addition to developments in the regional, Arab and international arenas. The Royal Court seizes this opportunity to welcome the honourable guest of the country and the accompanying delegation, wishing His Royal Highness a pleasant stay in Bahrain. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Oil and Gas Holding Company, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, visited Bahraini Gas Company Banagas. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed the continuation of efforts to develop the energy sector and place national companies in the ranks of international companies in this field, especially that the energy sector in Bahrain receives the attention of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the government, headed by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He toured the third gas plant project that was inaugurated by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in 2019. His Highness Sheikh Nasser was briefed on the company's achievements obtained in safety, occupational health, environment quality, production and social responsibility.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, delegated the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Working Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to honour the winners during the concluding ceremony of the fourth edition of the Nasser bin Hamad Marine Heritage Season in the presence of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, organised by the Popular Heritage Sport Committee. His Highness Sheikh Nasser extended his highest thanks, appreciation and gratitude to His Majesty the King for his patronage of the season. His Highness stated that His Majesty's support to the popular heritage sports and his directives have contributed to the development. On the sidelines of the closing ceremony, His Highness Sheikh Nasser inaugurated the book Pearls of Bahrain, issued by the Popular Heritage Sport Committee and prepared and supervised by Sheikh Khalid bin Hamoud Al Khalifa. His Highness also witnessed rowing races in the elite categories for a distance of 3,000 metres and the public for a distance of 2,000 metres for the Cup of His Majesty the King. His Highness Sheikh Nasser commended the committee's organisation of the activities of the maritime season, which witnessed wide participation. His Highness played the role played by the committee in reviving the national heritage within the framework of competitive competitions that attract Bahraini youth in all kinds of heritage, which provides opportunities for all segments of society to participate in the activities of the committee that contribute to preserving the national identity. His Highness congratulated the winning teams in the season's championships praising the performance of all the teams participating in the competitions related to marine heritage. At the end of the two races, His Highness Sheikh Nasser crowned the winning teams. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, the SCYS, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at his office Nawadi Palace at the former President of Croatia, Kulinda Graba Kitarovic, who is currently visiting the Kingdom. His Highness Sheikh Khalid welcomed the guest and conveyed to her the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his wishes for development and progress to Croatia. 
His Highness hailed the relations between Bahrain and Croatia and the development they witness in various fields in light of the two leadership's directives. His Highness Sheikh Khalid reviewed with the guest the sports achievements of the Kingdom and the developmental programmes and plans prepared by the SCYS as well as the policies developed by the GSA. He affirmed that Bahrain devoted considerable attention to support heritage and Olympic sports and that the next stage will witness the implementation of many developmental projects. A number of topics of common interest were discussed, which will bolster bilateral cooperation, especially in sports fields. For her part, the former President of Croatia expressed thanks to His Highness Sheikh Khalid for the warm welcome, hailing His Highness's keenness on bolstering bilateral cooperation in various domains. She also commended Bahrain's sports achievements during the prosperous era of His Majesty the King, wishing Bahrain progress and prosperity. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received members of the national jiu-jitsu team which succeeded in winning seven gold medals and one bronze medal during their participation in the World Jiu-Jitsu Championship and the Abu Dhabi World Masters Championship. His Highness Sheikh Khalid hailed the achievements of the team, which strengthened Bahrain's presence in this global sport. His Highness congratulated the club's president and members on the occasion, which reflected the advanced level reached by Bahraini Jiu-Jitsu sport. He commended the efforts of the Bahrain Jiu-Jitsu Federation in providing the appropriate environment for the team and national teams to take part in various participations. He also praised the great level of the team's players showcased in these participations, which affirms the high skills and capabilities, wishing them success in upcoming tournaments. For his part, the Bahrain Jiu-Jitsu Federation President, Radim Manfredi, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness for supporting all sports. First Deputy President of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa received members of the national cricket team which won the Asian Qualification Cup for Australia 2022 World Championship. His Highness affirmed that this achievement is thanks to the high performance of the players which is a start for more achievements. He praised the efforts of the administrative team led by Hatem Dadabi which contributed to making this achievement. His Highness congratulated the Federation's President and members and wished them success. The Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rash bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, attended the graduation ceremony for 178 graduates as part of the fifth batch of master's degree students at the Royal Academy of Police, the RAP. The ceremony was attended by the Chief of Public Security, Lieutenant General Tarek Al Hassan, and RAP Commander Brigadier Fawaz Al Hassan. The Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for his support for the police personnel to promote the national security protection role. He also expressed gratitude for the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to reinforce security preparedness. He asserted that promoting higher education, the development of security approach and the police policies for positive dealing with future challenges are crucial for tackling security changes and the expansion of smart policing and the utilisation of artificial intelligence. He noted that the development process of the Interior Ministry covers many security areas to meet requirements and develop capabilities and skills. The Minister congratulated the graduates and expressed thanks and appreciation for their efforts and their research that could contribute to advanced security services and enhance performance to meet inspirations and future development requirements. The RAP commander highlighted the Academy's dedication to promoting higher education programmes. 
He highlighted that graduation ceremony reflects the role of the RAP in preparing students to meet national development requirements. After that, the Interior Minister honoured top graduates and directed the students to contribute more towards serving the nation. He valued the role of the RAP in promoting education and training programmes, wishing them all success. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, addressed the closing ceremony of the Global Think Tank Summit 2021, where he stressed the importance of harnessing all efforts to enhance the spirit of joint teamwork, which is the basis for success in overcoming various challenges, including the global economic and social challenges caused by the novel coronavirus pandemic. He said that Team Bahrain, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, put in place a strategy to combat the pandemic and step up the vaccination campaign. He stated that Bahrain has ranked first globally in the Nikkei COVID-19 recovery. The chairman of Dirasat Board of Trustees, Sheikh Dr. Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, announced the launch of the Global Network for Women in Think Tanks to prepare women to assume leadership positions in think tanks. He underlined Bahraini women's landmark strides over the past 22 years, highlighting the pivotal role and contributions to national development, supported by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, a Chairman of Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority and Vice President of the Executive Office of the Arab Ministerial Council for Tourism, Zayed Al Ziani, Head of Bahrain's delegation participating in the 24th session of the Arab Ministerial Council for Tourism, which was held in Cairo. In his speech, Al Ziani affirmed that Bahrain, during its presidency of the session in the last two years, exerted all possible efforts to develop the performance of the Council and activate its role in promoting inter Arab work in the tourism sector, as well as stimulating it in light of the exceptional circumstances of the pandemic. The Minister noted the keenness of those in charge of the tourism sector in the Arab countries to support Bahrain's initiative in this regard, stressing that Bahrain is very keen to play an active role through the Council. He called for strengthening cooperation between Arab countries, noting that standardising procedures and standards in the tourism and travel sector will have an important positive impact in quickly easing travel restrictions and enhancing the tourism movement. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed Al Ziyani, yesterday met with his Egyptian counterpart at Naveen Jama, where they discussed the bilateral relations and fields of cooperation. The Minister stressed the importance of exchanging expertise in order to enhance the sector between the two countries. He highlighted the role of the government in further enhancing the industrial and commercial sectors. Al Ziyani stressed the importance of exchanging visits between the two countries in order to bolster their economy. Within the framework of his official visit to Egypt, the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and the Board of Directors Chairman of Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority, Zayd Al Ziani, yesterday paid a visit to the National Museum of Egyptian Civilization in Cairo. The Minister praised the international standard of the museum, which is considered as one of the most reputed museums around the world. The Minister and the audience were then informed about the civilization and history of Egypt in the museum. Riyadh's season in its second run has seen much success in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia through its various events and programme. A more detailed look from a reporter in Riyadh, Riyadh Al Hamoud. This year's Riyadh season continues to offer distinct and different activities from its previous version, as the season kicked off with a parade, the first of its kind at the regional level that included more than 1,500 performers and 2,760 drones. A Riyadh season is something incredible to happen in Saudi Arabia. Uh, it's something new for all of who's here. Uh, it's so nice, it's uh, wonderful. 
the difference for the Riyadh, the past Riyadh season and this one is um, it's super different. There is so much uh, new things open there. The boulevard is something new and they make it more bigger, which is good. 14 areas share the activities of the Riyadh season, including the Boulevard Riyadh City and Via Riyadh, which serve the people and visitors of the city of Riyadh during and after the season. That's right, the old, city, the old city. We oh, went to beautiful. Al Siri and Abdel Riyadh okay. and he's checking yeah. it out. And yesterday, it's like we were going through a Tahliya and new places, and he was like fascinated with whatever, whatever in yeah. Riyadh. And everybody's like this the whole time, and it's just amazing. Here in the boulevard, it's very fun because now that we cannot travel, it's like we're in New York. That's the experience. And the next thing I went, like last week, is in Safari. It was fun. It was a different from this one. The season's activities included the holding of the Riyadh Motor Show, which brings together the rarest, most luxurious and fastest cars in the world in one place, and includes the most expensive car in the world, with a price tag between 200 to 300 million rials due to its rarity. Other activities were held, from various theatrical performances to shows and concerts. I'm looking for classic music, basically. Uh, um Kulthum and the rest of the orchestra playing out here and uh, this one ba basically I'm looking up to. Yes, that's what it is. Riyadh season continues to break records with its visitors and volume of ticket sales through its programs and events around the season. This is Raid Al-Hamoud for Bahrain TV, Riyadh.